I'm here with Jim Wedge from Ascot Cattle Company. Jim, what do you got on offer this year, mate? Uh, yes, Ben, we've got 30 pole Charolais bulls and 30 Angus bulls. Uh, the sale date is uh, three weeks earlier than the last two years, uh, just to uh, suit people's joinings. And it's, uh, the date is the 17th of October. Jim, uh, let's start with the Angus. Um, you've got some pretty interesting genetics available in the Angus lineup. Yes, Ben, uh, in the Angus bull sale lineup, we've got uh, bulls by Australian trait leading bulls uh, such as Tamania Emperor, uh, Tamania Berkeley, Adosmi Quater, uh, Rennie Lee Edmund, to name a few. Yeah, and you've also got some really interesting genetics from some other homebred sires. Yes, Ben, uh, we've uh, over the last couple of years we've bought some what we feel is really top line uh, backup bulls which are probably also AI size in their own rights. Um, one of those is uh, uh, Millamurra Highlander uh, which we bought two years ago and he's bred very, very well and there's some very impressive calves in the sale by him. Uh, another bull is uh, Ireland's Gapstead uh, which we bought uh, again a couple of years ago and his, um, his calves are also looking very Good, uh, you know, there's a very high uh, positive fat bull, and the um, cows are, are really showing that. Jim, you've, when you started breeding Charolais, you set out on a path that was different for perhaps most normal or traditional Charolais breeders. Um, tell us a bit about the genetics you've got on offer this year. Yes, Ben, we're really trying to breed some uh, industry focused Charolais um, with uh, emphasis on positive fat. Uh, and obviously the pole gene, uh, but also trying to retain the the um, traditional Charolais traits. Uh, and in doing that, we've used some overseas bulls uh, as well as some very strong Australian pole bulls to so we maintain all the correct traits. Jim, in saying that, you've got a great lineup of pole cattle this year and a big lineup of pole cattle. Why is that? Yes, Ben, we're uh, very proud and excited uh, to be able to offer this year uh, an unprecedented uh, number of DNA tested homozygous pole bulls. And that's a result of our program that we've been running for the last few years, um, concentrating not only on the pole gene but as, as a very important part of our breeding program. So this year we've got a, a good lineup of those DNA tested homozygous poles which are very difficult to breed, any stud breeders can um, back me up on that. Uh, it's hard to get uh, lines of those types of bulls that also have the right traits that, that we need. Jim, you've got a set of uh, age groups in both the Angus and the Charolais, um, probably to suit many different you know, needs of breeders, commercial breeders, but in particular, you still feel very strongly about the yearling bulls? Yes, Ben, uh, this year's sale we've got three age groups of bulls. We've got the two-year-old traditional bulls, uh, we've got 20-month-old bulls, this is in both breeds, but also we've got uh, approximately a third of the draft is uh, yearling bulls. And why are they important for commercial breeders and the yearlings? Well, we're, we're very passionate about our yearling bull program. Uh, I think there's great advantages for, for breeders. Uh, they get an extra year of use, uh, providing they manage those bulls uh, correctly which isn't difficult. We use yearling bulls in our own program and we use, join them as 14, 15 month old bulls and take them out and then look after them for a bit and then they're right for the rest of their life. So you actually get an extra year of use out of them. Uh, you have less fighting with younger bulls and uh, you can get new genetics earlier. Jim, look over the years, I mean you've invested, um, you've invested wisely in the industry. Um, but in particular, just tell us a bit about what you've done with investing in the Millamurra line of females? Yes, Ben, uh, a couple of years ago we really wanted to improve our genetics in our Angus herd. And the Millamurra herd is, you know, in my view, is a very outstanding herd. And luckily um, we came to an agreement with uh, Ross Thompson to, to buy a picket of his F heifers, 2012 I think it was. Um, so yeah, we, we purchased those and then last year it paid off uh, in big dividends. I think the bulls from those females averaged 9,000, topping at 30,000. Um, but it's not really the price that we're talking about, it's just the quality of the females, the quality of the cattle that they, they turn off. Um, you know, they're just great constitution, great muscling, great meat quality type cattle. Um, and that's really what we were after. And we're, it was one of the best investments we've made so far. Jim, well, thanks very much for your time today, mate. Um, best of luck for your sale. No, thank you, Ben. I appreciate your time. Uh, 
Yes, I'd just like to finish off with uh, inviting anyone who would like to come to our sale. Uh, everyone's most welcome, uh, if, even if you're not interested in the bull this year. Uh, we'd really enjoy as many people as possible turning up to see, uh, see what we're doing with our bulls and, um, and enjoy some of our hospitality at the same time. Thanks, Ben.